So next up is level 10. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I have heard a lot of people sweating about this level. Apparently level 10 is notoriously hard compared to the other levels at least so far. So this may just be the hardest level so far. Let's take a look. Uh, it seems pretty simple. We got our one bird and two fruits. Although, I do have to admit, these are- Oh, whoa! You, you can summon a bird from here, it's a little birdhouse. Alright, so this is a pineapple, I guess? Yeah, this could be a peach or an apple, the color is kind of weird. Nobody knows, so, uh, we'll mess around with this. Right, so we get this fruit like this, obviously. So then, I'm curious of how this should go. I have a feeling I need to, like, stand up. And then come down like this? Nope, that makes me stuck. So if I was one height shorter, my head would be right here so I would be able to get this. So maybe let me restart and see if I can do that, uh, but with a shorter guy. So now I can do this, and now I can come back over and around here, and then up through here and get everything. Hold up. Hold on, I almost had it. Hold up, hold up. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> that was not as hard as everyone talked it up to be. That was not as hard at all. I genuinely thought that was going to be difficult. Hold on, hold on. Let me do something, right? So we're going to go YouTube right now. We're going to look up S Snake Bird. Snake Bird level 10. Look at how high up this is on the list of searches. So many people searched up Snake Bird level 10 because it's that hard of a level. I guess the only ones above it were levels 5, 6, and 7. I don't get it. What, what are people supposed to be stuck on for that? I'm genuinely curious. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this dude is huge! Look at this dude. Oh my god, massive snake bird. Alright, so we gotta be sure we get the order right here. Um, that's very particular. Let's try going around like this. Yeah, it seems like it's really easy to get stuck. This is the most actual snake-like. The hardest part of level 10 is falling standing up. Interesting. Anyways, so we have to take up as much space as possible so we can actually get everything without stepping on our own tail, so to speak. So let me try something like this. Oh, hold up. I cannot go directly above the island. I was going to try to wrap around. I want to try to do some maneuver to let myself turn around, but that's not easy because there's just one entrance. So let me try looping around like this instead. This looks so dumb, uh, but now I'm trapped. Ah, uh, man, this one fruit, it just traps me. I'm trying to figure out a path that lets me get everything without, you know, in one go, but I have a feeling you need to do multiple circuits. I may be wrong. Maybe we do not need to do multiple circuits. Let me try this, though. If there's any way to do multiple circuits, maybe I should leave two out, like this. Oh, that seems pretty good. Okay, I should have left two fruits out instead of one. Not too bad at all. Good level. See, even when this game is easy, it's still satisfying. I do it very just much enjoy the style of this game. Uh, I like the way it makes you think. I think it's very cool. Um, so I have been informed that this is a strawberry. By a lot of people. In my defense, it doesn't have dimples. Strawberries have like those little black dots and dimples to add texture. Apples are smooth. Apples are one color and sometimes, as you can tell by emotes, will have leaves and stems on top. I'm gonna keep calling it apple. We can't go back now. I've already said apple in the first video a hundred thousand times. It's not possible for it to change forms. We've already confirmed its state of being. So we have an apple and a lemon. Apple doesn't have a hat? Well, it can have leaves. I'm sure if you style your apple properly enough, it can have fashionable hats. You know, who says that apples can't have hats? Maybe apples like wearing hats. This is apple hat erasure. So, there's two ways to go about this. We could go up and then we fall down to here. So I need to think of, do I actually want to fall down on here? I imagine I do. Hypothetically though, how would I fall down on there? Oh, I have a better idea. Oh, I have a much better idea. I need to land like this, 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 and this. So an S shape like this. 
this is how I need to land. So my bottom is here, and then I come up like this, barely missing this. So I just have to figure out how to set exactly that up. So this is the shape we want. We just want to be over here. So let me try maybe going down. How about this? I, I was thinking prior that my tail needs to be on the ground, but I could have my head on the ground. Oh. Chat, how do I get friends? For real? Uh, biggest thing is be comfortable with yourself. Learn to like yourself. I mean, it's obviously easier said than done, or maybe you have it already tackled. Uh, but you can't get people to like you if you don't like you. So be comfortable with yourself, develop hobbies that you genuinely enjoy, and just talk about them. Don't let this be a replacement for friendship. And by this, I mean the stream. All right, well, since I'm here, no. I'm gonna try to maybe do this. However, this is the issue I was afraid of. This is why I wanted to get the lemon first. Oh, so actually I can stand up here. Hold on, let me actually stand up here and then get this lemon now. Now we're talking. We have to go back over carefully. Very carefully. All right, we got over now we can get our apple. Very nice, okay. And everything should be pretty simple from here, I think. I don't know if we're long enough to actually do this. Hold up. I genuinely thought I would not be able to make this gap, okay? I, I was eyeballing. It did not look like it would reach. Uh, it genuinely didn't look like it would reach. So, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 I guess the hardest part is sometimes seeing things, but at least for the strategy parts, I got down. Like, the strategy I understood is just the whole vision thing. You know, I got glasses. Like, you, you can make excuses for that. Come on. Go to 41? No. Apparently the 40s are where it gets disgustingly hard, e even more so. So that's it. That's great. So we have our two birds here, one of length 4, one of length 5. We have to construct a bird bridge to get across. I have not done a bridge like this before. This will probably teach me how to beat that three bird level that we've been passing up. Let me think about this. So I think I'm going to start with the green one. Green boy is going to go all the way across like this. And then blue boy, what he's going to do is be here. And now green... And, and then... Hmm. He just has to be able to hold green boy. Now, with green boy, if I go up, I'm dead. Now, here's the thing, actually. If green boy was just one block higher, I could just go left and be on top of blue boy. Yeah, green boy needs to be up here while blue boy is over here. And I think the only way to do that is to have blue boy here and green boy here. Like this, right? Along a five straightaway with blue boy directly on top. Um, I just can't guarantee that I can get the full setup for that. Like, I can get Green Boy to come in like this. I need to turn Green Boy around so he's facing the other direction. Well, I need to think about ways to change this. <gasps> oh, I figured this out. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got it. This is like a win right here. I just figured out that a blue, uh, green guy could go up like that. Blue guy goes like this, and green guy's in. All right. I knew what I had to do. It took me a little bit to do it, but I did it. Uh, everything panned out. All right, 14. Oh, these are some tiny birds. This is like a junior version of the previous level. It's a two fur and a three fur. Oh, look at these cute little guys. Unfortunately, it's also gonna be really difficult. So here's the thing. I can make, obviously make a bridge for the three guy to get in, but I don't think, yeah, two guys not gonna be able to get in, right? Yep, no matter how I approach it. So red guy needs to be down here. So here's what I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna restart. What I want to accomplish is I want blue guy to be on here like this so red guy can go over and be here. I would like basically them to swap positions. Blue guy needs to be below red guy. I, I'm not entirely sure how to make this swap. I really didn't like this game at first, the shit show, but more I watched the better it gets. It's just a good puzzle game. It's fair, it's balanced. I haven't noticed any bullshit so far. There's nothing in this game that has made me question the developers. Honestly, this is just a really smartly designed game where everything is about strategizing. Ooh, this guy, this thing moves. Let's just see what else moves while I just think about this for a little bit. A little fish in the background that don't do anything. I am thinking, uh, I'm just kind of keeping you guys a little distracted too. I almost wonder why this is here in general. Is it a bait? Can I use it? It seems to me that if 
Well, it could be a buffer, right? Someone could be backed into this. Someone could be pushed into it. Someone could be pushed into it. Like that. That is the only purpose I see for this. Unless if the red guy can be pushed in. What can I do with this? What does this allow me to do? Oh! Ah! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Holy shit! Very good puzzle! Wow! Wow! That was a really good puzzle! I like that one a lot! That was a- that was a, that was a very, very good puzzle. This game actually continues to amaze me with how well these are designed. Everything, like, I found was logical, too. There wasn't much guessing. It was, like, just analyzing. And they set it up so that it would work exactly like that, which is genuinely hard to do. I don't know when I want to do the bonus. I kind of almost want to do all the levels in order and then the bonus, and the bonus will be my boss. But honestly, there probably is no real way to do this in order. I'm just going to do it however I feel like doing. So anyways, we have two four-length snake birds. We again have to create a bridge. We do not have the extra leeway that we have been able to do before. We do not have two rows of leeway in which we could have a bird go like this and then the one go on cross and drop down. What we do have is this. So I think I'm going to use what, use what I did a couple levels ago. I'm going to use that uh, technique to have one bird push the other one up. Now I have to be careful with how I do this. I think I want red bird to be here and green bird to be here. Now red bird could be something like this. Right, of course. <gasps> Oops, almost had it. And then green bird's up here and then you can do this and then you can do this and actually just straight up go up here. This is pretty neat. And then what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna make this into a bit of a tetra shape. Not like that. That's wrong. Like that. So then this one will be able to go out s straight. Um, give me a moment. And across. Very nice. Panned out. I love teamwork, you know? Having the snakes just work together to get up there. They're so nice just helping each other out. Oh, uh, my first level with three that I'm actually gonna do. All three of them need to get up here. They are all the same length. So it doesn't necessarily matter which order, but I have to very smartly bridge this. Now, hold up. A bird can just go up here. Okay, it, do it does fit. I mean, obviously, it, it has to be able to. Otherwise, we would never be able to get the last one up. What's stopping me from just doing each bird individually? Um, so, like, what's the issue with that? They're not the same length. That's the issue. Ah, ha! That's four, these are three. This makes a lot of sense. So this guy has got to be the last one to go in. These two have to be the first ones. So yeah, this, this would have been stupid easy if they were all fours. Uh, that's why I was confused. Uh, so this guy has to somehow help these. So how far can I get... Well, actually, not far at all. They immediately get stuck, so the red one really just needs to start snaking down. He needs to come down here and imme immediately help. I could do, like, this guy get out of the way, and then... No, if you get out of the way one more, even, and then you come down like this, and then you get out of the way like this, and you come down like this, possibly? I mean, it's not that bad, because now I can do this, reasonably so, and then push you up like... Oh, hold up. Give the birds better names. Well, I mean, green, blue, and red. I mean, what's wrong with that? Some people name their kids colors. You've never met a fuchsia? You ever met, never met <laughs> a macaroni and cheese crayon? Violet? That's more obvious one. Thank you, chat. Jade. I have met a jade. My cousin's married to one. Steve? Uh, anyways. Um, green guy. Green bird's almost there. I think I can get away with helping out one at a time. So I'm going to create a little staircase here with my bird. And help the green one up. And then I'm just going to go help out the blue one, just like before. Honestly, it seems like I just have to do the same thing. 
Whoops. So that's not that bad. So you just get up here, and then yeah, we do exactly what we just did. Pretty easy. Uh, I, I feel like the extra bird, the third bird, was redundant, but you know, doing it twice just just to make sure you know what you're doing is quite good. Seventeen. 